and we're back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be power leveling Weaver straight to 50. Now, the difference of a power leveling guide and a normal leveling guide is that I will be aiming to do this ASAP with the help of like Mifri or my main or basically a level 50 crafter to get there as soon as possible. So this is not a guide for new players seeking to do it solo. This is a guide for just doing it ASAP, maybe on an alt, maybe with the help of friends. So I'm at the Weaver's Guild here at Uldar, right in the, sorry, in the Uldar steps of Fal, right here. So let's accept the quest to become a Weaver. So I'm just going to go straight through it. Join the Weaver's Guild, yes. And... Okay. And then have to click once more, accept the quest, yes. Now the very first thing you should do is you should turn in the quest to the NPC and then do the level 1 quest. Okay, so I'm now a Weaver. Or well, I now have the ability to be a Weaver, I should say. So what you do is, in order to change class, you equip the rusty needle that you've just been given. And I will equip any other gear that I might be able to wear for level 1. So I'll wear that. And I'm not sure if I have much else for level 1. Now the thing is, now this is something that is worth noting. Items which give experience bonus at low level, such as the Helm of Light, or the, especially this item, the Friendship Break, uh, Circlet, it will give the boost to crafting and gathering as well. So this item, which you can get from the Recruit a Friend scheme, for example, it says increases experience earned by 20% when level 25 and below. And this is confirmed to work with crafters. So I will be using this. And let's see what else I've got. Can I wear this control yet? Yeah, might as well, level 1. Any spare level 1 gear you have, which are good to use. So you have the Merchant's Purse, you have the Hampen, Kurta, just anything that to help you out. It's not really that important because crafting at level 1 is kind of, you know, easy. So and what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to save the gear. So retain gear. Okay, that's that. So, now we're good to go. So the very first thing is talk to him and accept the first quest for level 1. And every 5 levels you want to return to him. So at level 5, at level 10, and 15, and so on, all the way to 50. Because there'll be another quest you can do. So we're going to be doing this 5 levels at a time. So the very first thing we need to make for him is a spindle of Hapen Yarn. And to do that we simply need 2 Mocha Grass. So what you do is come to the NPC at the guild supplier right at the front desk and we're going to buy two mocha grass right here and it costs a grand total of four gil which is obviously within our budget and yeah so let's do this now so all we need to do simply is say synthesize click on um, synthesis because it's literally the only move you have at level one and that's it. And just by making the one item, you're almost level 2 already. Okay, so let's now turn it in. Boom, hand over. And we're going to complete. That's it. And now we're level 2 already. So the first level is pretty much a gift to you for deciding to start down the road of crafting. Now. Because this is a power leveling guide, the very first thing we're going to do is that we're going to start doing leaves. We can do leaves literally from level 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to teleport to the Adventurer's Guild. Okay, I'm going to run straight into the Adventurer's Guild because there's leave quests available from the leave counter. So what you do is select the Estace leave meet person, select Tradecraft leaves, and it will, if you have a weaver equipped, you will automatically uh, be on. It will automatically go to the weaver menu on the trade craft. And then the leave we want to target is this one. True enough. So for this, we need 
a pair of hampen clauses. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Mifri make five of them high quality and then we will continue. Now this is known as a delivery or courier leave which is shown by this card up here this card so each different type of leave has got a different unique card which you can see by looking in the top right hand corner of the quest giver so we're going to be using this one because you can see this one gives significantly more experience so 1700 experience for this one so i'm like i said i'm going to have mifri craft five of these items and then we're going to turn one in and see how we do. And we're going to aim to use this leave until we have, until we are level five. So we will continue shortly. Okay, so now I've got some of the turn ins pre crafted ready for me. I've accepted the leave from the leave me called True Enough. So now we need to turn it in. Now, the only thing about a courier leaves is that there might be a lot of traveling involved but it's worth it you know it's, it goes by really quickly and don't worry about money for teleport costs because it will be recovered from the quest reward so we're going to turn in one of these hand over do you want it and we want to turn in high quality items because high quality items give a 100 percent experience bonus there you go complete Oh. So, in that one leave, just one, we've hit level 5. Can you believe it? So, yeah, so that's already level 5 done. So, what we can now do is, I guess I've overstocked, I've overprepared these materials, so silly me. So, what we're now going to do is, we're going to return to the Weaver's Guild. So actually I'll use the Afernet to get back there quickly, and we're going to do the level 5 quest. So I tried to do the class quests along the way. That's actually really funny, the fact that we can do one leave and get straight to level 5. So, yep. So let's go back. Of course, in my case, it might not necessarily get you to level 5 if you don't have the friendship bracelet like I have, but still, the, you know, just one or two of those quests and you'll get to level 5. So let's now do the level 5 quest, except... So I will include in the description all of the quest rewards needed for all the level ranges and all the leaves and what items are needed and so on. So we've already I've already pre-crafted free hapen breaches so let's hand over yes okay i'm gonna only accept the tin pieces and stuff because i'm not going to need it i'm going to be power leveling so quick so that's that done so now we are going to check what we need to do from level five to ten so again we're going to return to the leave me and we're going to see what is required for level five to ten Okay, here he is. So let's see. So the next leave we want, again, Tradecraft leaves. Let's see, for level 5, again, we're going to try and target whichever one gives the most experience. So we can see here this one gives 4,000 experience, and that's obviously way more than the others. This one gives 2,000, this one gives 3,400, but it's, you know, so it's, it's further away and it gives less experience. So we want this one, a taste for. Dalmal T say. So I'll get a couple of these rewards ready for blue. Sorry, not for blue. Yeah, yeah, actually, for blue, actually. I'm, I can't remember which character I'm on. For blue sideburns, and we will continue shortly. Okay, so now I have all the materials ready. So we're going to accept the leave. So Tradecraft leaves. We want. Uh, this one called a taste for Dao Matisse, except, and again we have to quickly deliver it in. So 
So we'll see how far we get with this leave. And yes, you want to trade in high quality because it gives 100% bonus. Complete. Done. So that one leave, we just got to level 7. So let's do it again. Again, leave, Tradecraft leaves, a taste for Dao Ma Tise, accept. So I've, I'm anticipating that this will probably take three turn ins to do. Okay, so level 8, maybe even 4, but I have either way, I'm going to keep doing this until I hit level 10, and then we will continue. Okay, so I now turned in the leave a taste for Dalmatise four times, and it got me to level 10 already. So now we're going to return to the Weaver's Guild, and we're going to do the level 10 quest. So you can see the concept of this, and you can see why it's so unbelievably quick. But you can also see why you can't exactly do this solo, because I wouldn't have... My chances of high quality in these items at level 1 to 5 would be pretty much zero. It would be really, really unbelievable luck to do any of them. But with a friend doing it, you see how much time I'm able to save and how many leaves I'm able to save as well because we're going to need those leaves later. So for this quest, for level 10, we need to turn in 12 undyed hape and cloth, which I've already prepared ahead of time, and over. Makes no difference at all whether it's high quality or not, but we in Mithri's Heaven just like to do everything high quality just for, the, for lols. And that's it. So now that's level 10 done. So again, same routine. We're going to go back to the leave giver and we're going to see what leave we're going to do for level 10. To Sorry, level 10 to 15. Any spare materials I have, I will then just sell on the market board. Okay, so let's see. Leave me... Traycraft leaves, level 10, which one do we want? Let's see. So, uh, uh, Baron. Okay, so that one is 7,600, and it's based in, from this, you can see it's in Horizon. Um, this one gives 4,000, so we're not really interested in that. This one gives 7,700. So this one gives this. So I need to make cotton scarves. And it's actually also based here in Aldar as well. So we're going to be making at least maybe more than five. I'll probably make about eight cotton scarves to do this lead quest to get us to level 15. So yeah, so once I have the, the cotton scarves ready, then we will continue. Okay, so now it's time to continue. We have all the materials we need. So let's see here. Tradecraft leaves. We won this quest here called Workplace Safety, where we need cotton scarves. So let's accept and let's turn it in. Let's see how much experience we get. So it's nice, like the first 15 plus levels. It, it, they are courier quests, but they are very close. And we're going to turn in high qualities. Hand over. 100% bonus. And we got 15,000 experience from the one leave. So I'm going to keep doing this over and over as usual until I'm level 15. And then we will continue. Okay, now we've turned in the quest a total of six times. So the leave quest workplace safety to get to level 15. 
So now we're going to quickly return to the Weaver's Guild and we're going to do the level 15 quest. So I like to do the quests along the way just to get make sure they're done rather than having to do them all at once. It's up to you which way you decide to do it if you know you're going to be power leveled the whole way but I like to just do them there and then. So anyway, here we go. Let's accept the level 15 quest. So for the level 15 quest, we need to turn in... Oh, sorry, we need to talk to someone else first, actually. So let's go talk to Wawaruka. He's just next to the Miner's Guild, very short run, but we're gonna also just teleport. So Aethernet, Miner's Guild. Okay, here is a person. Bum, 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 done. Right, so we need to deliver a cotton scarf and a cotton shepherd's slops back to the NPC, which I've already prepared ahead of time. And like I said, it will be in the description of the video which items you need for which level range and where the leaves are, etc. And also how many turn-ins it took me to get this done. So we're pushing this now to see how quickly we can get to 50. Okay, so I'm going to turn in this normal quality and this one hand over. It makes absolutely no difference whether it's high quality or not for the first few quests. Later on they, they will demand high quality, but for the first maybe 25 levels they won't ask for anything more than that okay so now we finished the level 15 quest so let's see what we're doing next okay so what we now need to do again we need to return to the leave person in Aldar itself So back to the Adventurer's Guild. Now this is where the real teleporting and traveling starts to kick in because we'll actually have to leave Aldar for this next series of quests until level 20. So again, Tradecraft leaves. Now we want the leave quest called Better Shroud than Sorry. And the reason why is because you can see here, this one gives 8,000, this one gives 13,000, this one gives 12. So this one is what we're going to go for, and we need Cotton Kurta. But this one is based in East Fanalan at Camp Drybarn, so we're going to have to start teleporting for this. So something you can do which is useful is you can make Eastern Fanalan your favorite destination or free teleport, it's up to you which way round you do it. And then you turn in the quest and come back. And anticipating it will take 8 turn ins to get this to level 15. And like I said, do not worry about the gill for teleporting because you will make more gill from the leave itself. So it costs 99 gill to teleport here and we're going to get 520 gill back. So really, guys, don't worry about the teleport cost. So we're going to keep repeating this as usual until we're level 20, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, now that I've done the leave quest six times in order to hit level 20, we need to return straight to the Weaver's Guild and then do the next quest. So here we go. And it's raining here in Aldar right now, so anyway, Weaver's Guild. And I've already had all of the items prepared for the rest of the grind to 50, so I've already got all the turn-ins to finish. So now it's just a case of doing it and seeing which quest we need along the way. It's really, really quick, it's incredible. So let's do this quest, except... Okay, we need to talk to Mama R Raju. 
sorry, Ma Mama Jaru is right there, so we need to teleport to the Aetherite Plaza. Remember to t always uh, try and take advantage of the Aethernets, just generally, even when you're playing the game normally, just so you have a chance of saving time. So anyway, here is Mama Raju. So let's turn this in. Now there is actually a storyline and quest chained to this, uh, to the class quest for Weaver. So if you want to take part in it and so on, then read the quest text and so on. I'm only skipping through it because I've obviously done it before in Mifri and to save time for this video and so on. Uh, but if this was the first time I was doing the quest, doing the quest, I would actually do it slowly. But as I said, this is a power leveling guide, so this is aiming to get this done as soon as possible. Okay, so straight back to the Weaver's Guild, so we can turn in the item we need. Okay, here we go. Right, so we need a materia enhanced cotton acton. And a way to save time, rather than me having to find it in this bag, all you do, you right click this square and it gives you the option to select it automatically. Just be careful to make sure you don't hand over an equivalent item which you might actually be using when you do it quickly like that. Okay, and that's it. So now we're going to go do the level 20 to 25 leave quest, which again starts in order. So straight back to the Adventurer's Guild. So I will again summarize everything in the description, everything that was made, everything that's been turned in, all the leaves, all of the quest rewards and so on, how many leaves it took in total as well. So Traycraft leaves and we want this leave here double jeopardy because it will require us teleporting back and forth from Quarry Mill but you can see this gives 20,500 and when you turn in a high quality one that means you get 41,000 experience per leave. Whereas these other leaves at this level range, that has 5,000, which will be just under 11,000 doubled. And that gets 12,000, be just under 25,000 doubled. So uh, this one is obviously way, way better. It's efficiency per leave. So we are going to, sorry, I haven't accepted it. Going to accept it and then teleport straight to Quarry Mill. So it's called Double Jeopardy. Okay, so let's teleport now to Quarry Mill, and as I said before, do not worry about the price of teleporting because you will make more than that guild back from the guild that you get, sorry, the guild that you get from the leave reward. Okay, here we go. So turn in this quest. I want to turn in high quality, yes, 100% delivery, 41,000 experience, level 21. So as before, I'm going to keep doing this until I, I'm level 25, and then we will continue. Right, I have now done the leave quest called Doublet Jeopardy, so it turns out it was Doublet Jeopardy rather than Double Jeopardy a total of nine times. So we're going to quickly return to the Weaver's Guild, do the level 25 quest, and then we'll see which leave quest we'll do next in order to get us to level 30. So as you can see, with the help of friends, getting all the materials ready and so on, knowing which leaves to do, this is a very, very quick process. Extremely quick. And before you know it, already halfway there level-wise. So before you know it, we will be level 50. So if you have, with this list of materials, if you get it already ahead of time, then it just means that it's just then a case of turning it all in, which will probably take you about two or three hours to do, but it's still really, really fast and really fun. So, okay, we're now going to quickly talk to these two. And again, this is part of the reason why I do this along the way, is to make sure that I don't have to then do like 10 
class quest right at the end in order to get my level 50 tool, which in Weaver's case is called the Clotho. And if Doublet Jeopardy is not available from the list, it means you haven't gone to Quarry Mill to unlock the leaves there. So when you have to teleport to some of these random towns, you need to make sure that you've gone there at least once before so that you can have the leave available for that town. So if Double Jeopardy is not available on the list, that is the reason why. It's because you haven't unlocked the leave quests at Quarry Mill yet. And to unlock them in Quarry Mill or in any town, you just visit that town, go to the leave meet person, they'll have a quest marker over their head which will require you to do one leave. Once you've done that one kind of like a trial leave, then you'll get a full screen message that says the leaves are now available in this town. Okay, so for this one, we need to turn in a high quality piece of undyed velveteen. So by the time you get to 25, they're expecting you to start high quality in your own materials. Okay, so that's that done. So that's level 25 finished. Now we're going to see the next leave in order to get to level 30. So again, same routine. We're teleporting to the Adventurer's Guild. Righty righty. And... Quickly checking, okay. So the next quest on the list is called I'll Be Your Whaler Today. So Tradecraft leaves straight to 25. Here we go. Again, it requires us to go to Quarry Mill. And you can see this one 33,000. So doubled would mean 66,000. That's 11,000, so that's 22, and that'll be 40. So this gives way, way more, the most experience at this level range. So yeah, it does, again, involve teleporting back and forth from here to Quarry Mill, but so what? You know, the amount of bonus experience you get, the amount of gill you get, the, the because you get more gill from the leave than teleporting, then it's justified doing it, so... So okay, let's continue. So again, same routine, exactly the same as before. I'm gonna turn it in. Wait, I'm turning in Velveteen Wedge Caps of Gathering. So it's anticipated that you'll need to do about 10 of these in order to hit level 30. So, okay, so we're level 26, so let's, I'm gonna keep doing this until I'm level 30. So once I'm level 30, we will continue. So I did the quest, I'll be your whaler today, a total of nine times in order to hit level 30. So I'm back at the Weaver's Guild to do the next quest, so let's do it. Right, so again we need to talk to Wawa Ruka, who's right next to the Miner's Guild, so let's go. So, Aethernate, Aethernate, Aethernate Shard, Miner's Guild. There we go. Talk to him. Okay, now we need to turn in the high quality Velveteen Gators, which obviously we've prepared ahead of time. So blue is flying towards level 50, he's already at level 30, which is insane. So let's turn the quest in, turn in the gators, done. Okay, some more pieces. So now let's go back and do the next quest. So the next quests for level 30 to 35 will involve delivering turn-ins to Costa del Sol. So again, we go back to the Aethernet Shard, teleport to the Adventurer's Guild. It's all from the same leave guy. Ok, 
Okay, leave me. Tradecraft leaves level 30. So that's 17,000. That's 30,000. And that's 47,000. So double, you're looking at 95,000 per quest turn in. And all we have to do is take some linen chaucies to Costa del Sol. And the leave is called by the seat of the pants. So you can see along the way I've been doing whichever leave gives the most turn in. And generally though, later on, I do avoid the triple turn ins because they require so much more mats and it's uh, in terms of a, uh, you know, money invested versus result thing, it's not really that profitable as just doing it this way. So anyway, teleport to Eastern Lanosia. Cool. Thankfully the leave turn in is pretty much right next to the Aphonet, Aphorite Crystal. So let's turn this in, these linen chaucies, and that's it, high quality, yes. Then we got from it 95,000 experience points. So I'm anticipating having to do this about, let me sip think. About 10 times, I think, in order to get to level 35, but we will see. So once I've turned it in five times, I got to level 35, then we will see what is done next. Right, so progressing on very quickly, we turned in nine of the items needed and we got to level 35 and it's possible that you might have to turn in 10 it just depends how much of a bonus you had from before so yeah so we're now back at the weavers guild so let's turn in the next quest and again we need to talk to Wawaruka Righty, righty, righty. So again, Miner's Guild. Okay. I mean, obviously, it seems like you're kind of coming and speaking to this person a lot, but that's because you're not supposed to level this quick, so... Anyway, Weaver's Guild. Okay, let's turn this in. So we're turning in a high quality linen shirt, I believe. Right, so that's that done. So now let's go back to the Adventurer's Guild and see which lead we need to do next for level 35 to 40. So again, Adventurer's Guild. Leave me. Tradecraft leaves. We won. Let's see which one's got the most. So this one's got 24,000. This one's got 65. That one's got 41. So it's the 65 one we want called Ed Mel's hair. So let's accept. And for this one, we need, let's see, linen wedge caps of gathering. And anticipating it will take a roughly 10 turn in to get this done. So for this quest, we have to go to the observatorium. So pretty much the quickest way. You have two choices. You can either go to Cam Dragon Head and run south, as I'm doing now, or you can teleport to Folgo Float in North Shroud and then run to the west through the zone line and then run to the observatorium through there. It's equivalent journey time, so... Oh, my chocobo is stabled. But yeah, so when I am done and I'm level 40, we will continue.
Okay, so after having turned in the quest 10 times, we're now level 40 and back at the Weaver's Guild, so let's do the level 40 quest quickly. And we need to go and talk to Coco On. Hmm. Sorry, not Coco Am, Coco Mo. Coco Am is from Pocahontas, lol. Here we go, quick run there. Here is Coco Mo. Now we need to give a high quality pair of woolen tights back to the NPC to finish level 40 quest. Okay, let's skip the cutscene. Done. So now let's go back to the NPC the in the Adventurous Guild once more to go towards level 45. So let's see which delivery quest we need to do now. So every quest is starting here in Uldar basically and we have to deliver them to random towns around the game. And if the leaves are not available it means that you haven't unlocked leaves in that town, that's all it means. So again, leave me Tradecraft leaves, and let's see, cool to be southern, 84,000, 54,000, 32, so obviously we want this one, cool to be southern, and we need a pair of woolen keks for this, and that's it. And these delivery quests take us to White Brim. Unfortunately, there isn't any Aetherite at White Brim, so we have to teleport to Can Dragonhead, which is the closest, and then run. So along the way, all these random rewards and materials and equipment I've picked up, I'm going to just sell them on the market board if they're worth anything. If they're not worth anything, I'll vendor them. Because I've already got my level 50 set ready, which I got ready before on Level Worker. And when you're a new level 50, I have got a level 50 progression guide, which is for when you just hit 50, how to progress on very quickly towards 3 star. So I will link that as well in the description. I always try to make my descriptions as detailed as possible, so even if you can't watch the whole video, or if you don't want to watch the whole video, you can just read the description to see all the information there. But I'm trying to keep the videos as well as brief as possible, because obviously this video is significantly shorter than the original Level Worker Power Leveling Guide. So, almost there. Uh, so, it might seem a bit boring having to rinse and repeat this a few times to do the quest, but at the end of the day, you only have to do this journey maybe, what, ten times? And you get five whole levels out of it, so it's, it was, it's worth doing, definitely. Okay, so let's turn this in. Woolen kegs. Done. Boom. Boom. And for this, we got... 167,000 experience. So again, as always, we're going to keep turning this in until we're level 45, and then we'll do the level 45 Weaver quest. So we will continue in a moment. Okay, so I turned in the quest about 10, 11 times. It depends on where your progress to get to level 45. So now, again, as always, we're back in the Weaver's Guild so that we can do the level 45 quest. So we're getting very, very close now. So once we do this 45 quest, then we will do the last set of leaves in Mordona to le reach level 50. So as usual, Miner's Guild.
right? So we need to turn in a bunch of high quality items, which we've already pre-made. Which again, I said I will link in the description of the video. Okay, here we go. Done. Finished. Complete. So, one more step to go to get to level 50. So, we're going to go for the last time to the Adventurer's Guild to see which leave we need to do last. And the thing to note as well about these leaves, you might f uh, have been wondering throughout this video, like, what about the leaves which actually start in the towns where I'm delivering to? And I can show you that these leaves that start in Uldar and then you take to the towns actually give more experience than any of the leaves which are in those towns. So this is why we keep going back and forth, because these single leaves here offer the most experience at each level range. Okay, so this one is 39k, this one is 67k, this one is 100k. So obviously this is the one we want. So take a note of that, 103,656. So we will see if there's any leaves in St. Connor's find that offer any more. So let's go there now. And we're on the home stretch, guys. It was a very, very quick thing. I mean, overall, um, I mean, in between making this video, I did do other things today. I did, like, you know, go out and live my life and so on. But overall, in terms of actual effort, we're looking at less than two hours to get from 1 to 50. It was really, really quick. And with a lot of help from an FC friend called Eamon, we were able to, together, just craft all these items. I could have made them all on Mithri anyway. But having friends to help you out obviously makes this process even easier. And any crafter who is above 3 star can make all of these items which are required to boost a craft to level 50 really, really cheaply. Like, extremely cheaply. So do not buy these materials on the market board. be a complete rip-off. Only do it if you can buy the materials or gather the materials and craft it yourself. Okay, so I'm going to turn in the quest here. Turn in this felt. So from this one felt, we've got 207,000 experience because it doubled. So I'm going to quickly do, I'm going to look at this leave me and see if there's any quests that actually offer more than 103,000. So this gives 67, this gives 69, this gives 39. So like I said, there isn't any leave in the actual towns which give more experience per leave than the ones in the starting town. Now there is the triple leaves where you can turn in three sets of three. But like I said, they are not worth it simply because they take you need to craft nine materials per leave rather than just one. So in terms of efficiency and money and so on, it's a lot quicker doing it this way. Just picking whichever gives the most EXP reward as a raw number and doing it more than once. So anyway, um, this is the last stretch now towards level 50. Once we're about to hit level 50, then we will continue. Wow, so we've reached the end already. We are one leave turn in away from level 50. So let's turn in the last leave. Turned in, hand over. Yes. Done. Level 50 Weaver, finished. Just like that, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So now we're going to go quickly do the level 50 Weaver quest. We're going to try on my level 50 gear, which I already had from Level Worker. And that's it, that'll be my second class on Blue Sideburns done. I will wait for my leaves to recharge and then I'll do my next power leveling guide. And overall, I used 84 leave allowances to get straight to 50. So, I usually just wait until I have 100 and then I just blitz it. So, 
it doesn't take long to get to 100. You get six per day. So a couple of weeks and you'll be at back at 100 again. So you can just boost your way up. This is for power leveling way. So this is a great method for doing alts, for example. I need to go back to the Weaver's Guild. And on my alts, I'm not really intending them to be any higher than 3 star. I don't really see a point. Because Mifri can already make everything. She's already 4 star everything. And uh, But we'll see. You know, I doubt it will be any different. So Because once the expansion comes out, then probably all the gear is going to get replaced anyway with level 60 gear. Is All that's important really is the actual level. The fact it's level 50. That's the important part. Okay. There's all the three pieces of gear we need to hand over. Right, so now we need to speak to Wawaruka at the Gold Court. Let's go there now. And the next power leveling guide I'm going to be making in this series is the power leveling Weaver Decent from 1 to 90, ideally. I try not to do power leveling guides for above 90 because it's, it gets a lot more expensive after 90, so I try to avoid it. And also as well, you can watch this final cutscene of Weaver to understand what we've been working on this whole time. Because like I said, every single class in the game has got a story mode, even the crafters, even the gatherers. So it is interesting to see what the story of each class is. I'm skipping it in this video for the sake of the speed, but also because I've done it before. So you can watch my level 50 Weaver video, which I'll link in the description. That's it. We don't need any other gear because it's not high quality, but that's it. Level 50 Weaver done. So now let's try try on a gear. So I've literally hit level 50 Weaver with an item level of zero, which is hilarious. So now let's try on here Clotho, which was a significant increase, obviously. We're going to put on the standard gear. So let's see. Artisan specs, the artisan gown. This is stuff we had from level worker. Dodar Bell the artisan's legs, artisan boots, and then rose gold choker. And like I said, I haven't actually fully melded these yet. So these, when they're fully melded, will give me above three star. And I need to get an upgraded offhand, but that's it. I'm not aiming any higher than three star at the moment on my alts. So yeah, so that's it. So currently, because I don't actually have a hot offhand yet, I haven't crafted the weaver offhand. But currently I'm at 238 craftsmanship, 271 control, which means I should be able to make most two star things. Let's just double check. So I can make one star. Two star requires 318. Okay, I can't do two star until I actually get myself an offhand. So that will come later, but that's it. So that's it for this power level guide for level for Weaver 1 to 50. If you have any suggestions, any ways I could have improved this guide, any way to do it quicker, etc, etc, then just let me know. I'm happy with the speed because it only really took a couple of hours of work to get to this far. It cost me 84 leave allowances, but this alt's been seeing 100 leave allowances for a long time. So, yeah. So anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Blue Sideburns.